the most frequently visited place in the house, other than fridge perhaps, kitchen, the toilet. Um, flushing mechanism typically works fine, uh, but if it doesn't, which it won't once in a, you know, maybe five, ten years, depending if you bought the second hand property or if it's a brand new house, <coughs> you lift your system cover and this is what you'll find. A, some kind of a flushing mechanism. This mechanism, uh, this is the filling mechanism with the float and this is the flushing mechanism on the inside. Now if you need to replace this, it means you need to, in most cases, remove the system. Now does anyone see, well I'm sure plumbers see this immediately, but if you're not a plumber, there's a bit of a problem right here. The original plumber that put this system in did a quick and lazy job. Didn't actually pre-drill the holes and didn't secure the system with screws but rather stuck it with a bit of silicone. Now if it's a little bit of silicone, well you might be able to get around that but if it's quite a lot it's quite a problem because you cannot fix this thing you cannot replace this flushing mechanism unless you remove the system and you are really stuck you know quite a bother because underneath here is where you need to get in <laughs> I do apologize for the for the dirt there it's just water trust me um, so in, underneath here you need to get in we need to remove because the water flushes into this little area and then into the toilet. <coughs> they typically silicon it here, which they have as you can probably see. So they silicon underneath and they silicon it to the wall. So the fact that it's not screwed means that you are. And let me show you a few tips and tricks that I have just figured out after. Jeez just about giving up two three hours I finally figured out a way that would hopefully save you a lot of time and hopefully money because I was just about ready to break this up or cut the tiles off and lift it off with the tiles uh, but take a look see what you think not that I want to show you the mess that I've made here but this is the old system that we're replacing and we're replacing it with this new one down here so new one old one this is another toilet as you can see by the mess it has been <laughs> it has been <laughs> two hours of pain we've removed the flushing mechanism we have um, of course stopped the water and you have to tie that water off otherwise that would keep filling your system now we need to remove the old flushing mechanism with the new one. <coughs> However, the lovely plumber also didn't put any screws in and it siliconed the heck out of the back of this and it stuck to the tiles, so it was quite terrible. I tried just about everything. I tried a <laughs> good old knife tool, hammering it in, cutting it off, tried um, pulling it off, tried it serrated thin blade, tried heat, tried to melt it, tried to oh, just about everything, pull it off, just about ready to smack this into pieces and uh, remove it. But here, <coughs> here's the solution, I'll show you what I did and how I did it and hopefully it'll save you a lot of time and money. So, so continue what you need? need, what expensive tool or chemical or things will you will need? <laughs> Very simple. Uh, I don't know if this is an original idea. I thought of it, but I'm, I'm sure others have in the past as well. <sighs> little from your ice cream, uh, little stick from your ice cream block. You'll need two of those and a bit of wire. And my goodness, did that save <laughs> save the situation? So simply find a spot where you can feed the wire through, you feed it behind the bit where the silicone is not, um, feed the wire through all the way down to the bottom, 
tie the other side of it and then you basically use it like a like a flexible saw um, let me put the tripod so, up there you have it put that in and basically like a saw you just cut through the silicone coming rubbing back and forth holding onto the wood yeah make sure that you secure it uh, this way so that it's nice and comfortable and you just keep cutting through the silicone back and forth until you get all the way to the end and uh, then I've just done this a little earlier then it will just peel off like so so you can see it's free from the from the silicone on that on that side on the wall yeah and it's released without breaking a tile without breaking a cistern and now you can easily continue on uh, on the removal of the of the valve down the bottom from underneath so hopefully this will save you a whole lot of trouble if you are stuck in the same situation where your plumber or yourself or whoever has installed the system with silicon rushing the job in the first instance and uh, only making it harder for repairs down the line if you like our channel please subscribe if you find um, the videos useful let us know and give us thumbs up we love the support and uh, we thank you for it and uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, have your company in our next uh, next videos have a good one bye